Yo, what is going on guys? Jordy back with another T3 video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the top five heroes that you guys should be playing after the most recent May update. We've had the update for about five days now and we have been play testing everything we possibly can, me and all the boys in the Discord, and we have determined the top five heroes. We're gonna jump in, we're gonna go over it all today. I'm gonna give you guys all the things that you need to know. And if you haven't seen the patch notes video, Make sure you guys go check it out. I did a giant hour long read through the entire patch notes. We talked about all the changes to every single hero in the game. So make sure you guys check that out. But let's jump into the list. I'm super excited to get going on this and I hope you guys enjoy it. I do also want to throw a disclaimer that I did talk to a couple of the different pros in the community. I talked to Myron. I talked to Shuri. I talked to all the guys in my discord and we all kind of determined that these were some of the best heroes. I got some feedback from a bunch of the different really, really strong, really competitive players in the game. And this was what we determined was the list. If you guys are really good with any other heroes in the game, this is not a list to say that your favorite heroes aren't the best. This is just what I've determined based off of the last couple of days playing the update. First up is Osos. Now, Osos is one of the craziest characters in the game, of course. He is the true sniper in the game. And with the changes, Hua Ling did also get some pretty hefty nerfs, making her not as viable of a sniper than Osos, at least in my opinion. Osos has the potential to flank now with his jumping abilities, and he is just all around a really, really strong hero. One thing that I like to do with Osos is use his smoke to help my teammates rather than to help myself. I don't necessarily throw it at the ground and use it as cover for snipe lanes, I use it more to throw on either the cart or the objective in control and kind of help my teammates with hiding them in the smoke rather than hiding myself. That's something that I've always kind of done with Osos. I did that when we did the 5v5 show match with all of the creators. That was a big thing. We were talking about throwing the smoke on the point rather than using it for my advantage to stay alive and kind of have those sniper battles with enemy Osos. And so that is one of the really strong things you can do with him. And like I said, with his jump, he also is an excellent flanker. He can get behind the enemy lines. And honestly, people don't see it coming. You really want to play this hero more as just a like a quick scope brawler type hero. He does have that potential to get that one shot kill on most enemies. Um, and one thing is there is a lot of rubies running around and you can't one shot rubies anymore with a fully charged headshot. So that is just one thing to keep in mind, but Osos is still super strong. He deals with a lot of threats. He can have that far lane play or he can get close up. If you're really good with him, you can do some crazy stuff with Osos. Next up is everyone's favorite alien in the game, Mr. Labula himself. Labula has been changed to a support hero and he is more of a targeted support. So you have to actually shoot your teammates in order to heal them now. Uh, which wasn't ever a thing before. So now that he has that support role under his belt and he also has his new like invincibility field, he changes so many fights. You can put a lot of fights into your team's favor. Um, you can pop that invulnerability field on the cart and actually like sustain a lot of incoming damage and keep your teammates alive even at the brink of death. He is super, super, super strong right now. I really, really enjoy his playstyle. Not to mention his ultimate. Not only does it deal out that damage wherever you're looking, your decoy will also shoot in that area. But you can also utilize that same concept to super heal your teammates really, really fast. You can sit back. You can kind of get in the action. You can do so many different things with Labula. Playing up in the fight, but you can also kind of sit back. And you do have that ability of shooting your teammates to heal them. And you can actually utilize that to heal from very far away, which is also really awesome. So if you do have a teammate that's kind of pushing up into the fight and you're maybe sitting back on the cart, you can shoot them from afar and still support them by healing them while you're still holding down the objective. He is really, really good. I have been enjoying him a lot. I've actually been playing him a lot more recently since this update came out. Labula is a really strong support. Sticking on the theme of support heroes, one of the other heroes that was changed to support is Sindri. Now, Sindri, we all kind of expected her to be very, very strong going into this new style where she is now a support and she has that sort of 
AoE passive healing. She is really, really good. You don't have to necessarily play her like she was before the update where she was very up in the fights. You can kind of jump around with her. You can get really close and deal a ton of damage. Her damage did get nerfed and she is not necessarily a DPS hero anymore. She can still dish out a lot of damage for sure. But her main thing that you do with her now is you just stick with your tank and you just passively heal and you keep them healthy and you can throw down your bot to help and just basically sit on the point and do your job as a support. But the fact that she is that AO, she has that AOE healing and she's just constantly keeping your, your vanguards alive and all your other teammates can kind of just run on point, get some health and then continue to deal what they do, you know, carry the team with the, with the kills and the, the, the damage output. She's, she's just so helpful. She's basically just a, Hey, come to point if you want health and then go do your thing. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do my support and not not to mention she does actually have a decent amount of range so you can get that extra damage to help your your heroes out your teammates out whenever they're jumping up into the fight and kind of getting close range you stick with your tank you do what you do best now is your support you're a healer and not to mention her bot also heals so you can kind of put the bot up in the fight as if it's going to be like a another healer for your team that your your DPS and all the other people on your team can kind of run back to the bot and heal and then you can stay on the point and heal she plays so well I really enjoy this new Sindri she's probably the, the hero that I've played the most since the update came out and I really am just enjoying her as a support now I would arguably say she's probably the best support in the game currently uh Labulud is really good as well but she is so much fun. I really enjoy this change. You guys should definitely be playing her in every match. Now, if you guys have played any sort of ranked match in the past couple of days, you might have noticed that there is a Gatlin apocalypse going around. Next hero on the list is Gatlin. Gatlin is ridiculously strong. She has this new sort of ability where you basically make your, your gun shoot infinitely or at least have infinite ammo and it doubles its fire rate. At the same amount of damage which basically means your time to kill is cut in half you can now kill twice as fast and like i said it has infinite ammo during your little that like during your activation of this new ability the ammo is infinite so you can constantly put pressure on lanes you can sit back you can deal the damage you can just throw a ton of dps towards the enemy team she is ridiculous don't be surprised if you play Gatlin and you end up having the most kills on the team. I know a lot of the guys that I've been playing with on my in my Discord, specifically Gandalf. If you guys don't know Gandalf, go check out his channel. He's been playing a lot of Gatlin and he's he's putting up 30 kill games easy. She is ridiculously strong. Not to mention she also has that really strong ability of putting a bubble shield down and that bubble shield's duration as well as health were increased which is crazy she's basically like sort of a pseudo vanguard now the bubble now has 15,000 health and also stays on the field for 10 seconds which is crazy so if you have your gatlin at level 10 it's going to be even higher numbers that is just the base numbers and it is ridiculously strong and you know not only that but it also pushes people away when you activate that ult so it will push away enemies if they're on the point or whatever the case may be. Maybe you pop it on the control point and push the enemies off and you guys get a good cap or something like that. She is very versatile and also throws a ton of damage around. She's absolutely nuts. Definitely be playing Gatlin. You don't know who to pick and you have your, your Vanguard on your team and you guys already have your healers established and you're looking for a DPS to play. 100% you need to be playing Gatlin. She is crazy strong last but not least and you guys know where i'm going with this it's ruby ruby is taking over the game as the best vanguard to play right now she is crazy absolutely nuts if you stick with your healers ruby is unkillable she'll sit on the cart for the longest time or she'll sit on the control point and she just won't die and it is everywhere every single team is playing with at least one ruby you, of course, want to only play with one Vanguard right now. And if you guys didn't see, the Vanguard Blessing uh, is a very, very strong buff. Uh, basically, if you only have one Vanguard hero on your team, 
that Vanguard hero will get a 20% damage mitigation buff for the entirety of the game. Now, if you guys didn't know, Ruby's passive says if she's in the vicinity of her shields, she gets a 10% damage mitigation buff just for being near her shields. So if you tack on her passive plus the lone Vanguard blessing buff, that's a Ruby that is 30% damage reduction at all times. And her new ability allows you to stun multiple people for like one seconds or so. It also, it's like one second. It's like a little around there. And not to mention, she also has a very, very strong ultimate. Her ultimate up close deals a ton of damage. And at the very least, it'll scare your opponents and they'll run away. And that's a good thing because a lot of the objective game types that you're playing Ruby in, you kind of want to either kill the enemies or push them off of the points or push them off of the cart. So her ultimate is very strong. Her, her shields are super, super useful. Not to mention if she's the only Vanguard, she's, not, she's taking 30% less damage. And you're sticking with your healers to have that constant health regeneration. And she actually does a really decent amount of damage up close. They did bring in her damage fall off. So she, her range is nowhere near what it used to be. You want to be playing Ruby up close and personal. And she is a fantastic hero. You guys need to be trying Ruby. She is nuts. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the top five heroes list that you guys should be playing right now after this most recent update. It is insane. The game has changed so much and it is uh, this just new breath of fresh air. The game is really fun. I'm grinding ranked mode. The new map is crazy fun. The new meta has shifted and I'm, I'm for it. I'm super for it. I have a ton of more videos coming your guys way. So make sure you stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. I'll catch you guys next time. And as always, peace out, guys.